Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I got off work a little early today. We didn't have much to do, so uh, we're going to get to work on uh, finishing the scales on that fillet knife. So let's let's get over there and let's get her done.
all right guys I know I was so told you I wasn't going to show you a bunch of that hand sanding and stuff again but I thought maybe you just needed a little reminder of how much hand work goes into one of these but uh, uh, we've had this in the vise for a little while it's still not quite ready to put a second coat on but uh, that gives you kind of an idea of how it's looking so uh, so this will probably be it uh, when I get uh, when I get it done completely done a couple coats on there and get it get it all done I'll probably just throw up a quick little video to show you the, the finished product I still got to put a final edge on this too as you saw when I was sanding I'm holding this blade the whole time sanding away uh, and there's a lot of sanding that goes on and it's just easier for me I think you know to just wait until the handle is finished and everything is done and then I can go and just put the the edge on the blade and be done with it so uh, I think it's looking pretty good that that spalted maple came out pretty nice that's some pretty good looking wood there so um, you know it looked kind of dull and and tan before we put the poly on it but once you get that poly on that it uh, livens that wood right up you can see all the if you can see on the spine here uh, the way it has almost like a fishbone uh, look to it I think it may have been kind of a spalted tiger maple or something so it's beautiful wood it was a burl it was it was a piece of a burl you can tell that by the way it's so twisted and swirled and everything growing in every direction so um, I think it's coming out pretty nice and uh, I think we're gonna pretty much call this one done so other than that little piece of tape that's on there to protect the blade from the poly uh, there it is guys the uh, pretty much the finished fillet knife for fishing for filleting fish if I hadn't said that already uh, my friend's husband likes to fish uh, I guess a lot and I don't know if he'll use it or not he may just want to put it in his collection but I guarantee you it will be usable if he wants to use this knife to fillet fish when I'm done with it so all right guys I appreciate you being here as always oh and uh, as a result of my begging the other day I'm up to a hundred subscribers so thanks all of you for subscribing to each and every one of you um, it really means a lot to me to have you guys come along with me so I'm up to 100 subscribers as of now so uh, well actually as of yet uh, the 11th on the 11th day before yesterday um, had to work all day yesterday so I didn't really get out and uh, uh, get to do anything with YouTube or anything it was a long day Got home really late last night, so um, yeah. Looked at looked up on my phone uh, on the 11th Tuesday while I was at work, uh, sitting around waiting to get loaded, and I'm up to 100 subscribers. So man, I, I really appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. You don't know how much it means to me to have you all uh, one care enough to watch my videos and two. Uh, be interested enough to go ahead and subscribe and uh, to my channel and that so thanks again guys bottom of my heart means a lot to me and uh, we're gonna try to keep these videos coming and keep it interesting so stick around we'll have more to come get your butt out to your shop and do something tear something up make something you know what I always say do something fix something just have a good time and uh, always be careful when you're working in your shop be careful around your tools and and things and loose clothing and what have you so I appreciate y'all thanks for watching and we're gonna see you again on the next one